super awesome friends. Today we are going to talk about masks. You probably see a lot of people wearing masks all over the place and it might be a little bit alarming because you can't tell exactly what the person's emotions are. That's the hardest part that I find with wearing a mask is that I can't tell when someone's smiling at me or I can't smile at someone and make them feel like they can have a really awesome day. So what we're going to do is do a self portrait with a mask on so we can practice making a beautiful mask that might show us a little bit more about how we can share positivity and love with the people around us. First, I wanted to show you my mask, like this. My sister, who is amazing at sewing, made this mask for me, and it's actually made from fabric that I designed. So it was kind of a collaborative project, which is super awesome. So if you don't have a made mask, you might have one um, that you bought or that was gifted to you by someone else, but masks are really important right now to make sure that we keep our germs to ourselves and not spreading them to other people. So I'm gonna show you how you can make a self-portrait of you wearing a really awesome mask. You can design it to say or be whatever you'd like it to be, and it helps us bring ownership over the fact that masks are very important and a special and safe way for us to kind of be out in the world right now um, and make sure we're really following the rules to keep each other safe. So all you'll need today is a piece of paper, some sort of drawing tool, and some sort of coloring tool. We're just going to do a drawing today so the materials are kind of up to you. Now of course to make us feel strong and ready for our art lesson, we're going to begin with our mantra. So say it with me, here we go. My mantra, I am positive, I am creative, I am mindful, I am amazing, I am an artist. Okay artists, mask up, it's time to draw. All right, friends, it is time to take ownership over our self-portraits and make a version of us being as safe as possible with our masks on. So I'm gonna teach you a few parts about how you can make a face look like a face with the proper proportions, and then how you can help make it look a little bit more like you. So we're gonna start with some simple shapes and lines to get ourselves kind of going with our drawing. So I'm gonna begin with a little bit of a U-shaped line or an upside down rainbow to fill most of my page. And I'm doing this really light with pencil so I can erase as I go. But of course, as an artist, you can start with marker right away just knowing that you'll have to problem solve if something doesn't quite work because you can't erase that like you could with a pencil. Then we're going to use our ears along the side here as kind of a marking point for how far things are coming off of our page. So I'm making kind of some sideways C's that are about halfway up my rainbow line, my upside down rainbow line. Now inside ears, they've got all these curly wiggly lines. Maybe you just wanna do a few like this. I always love to um, wear earrings, so I'm gonna give myself my big earrings that I'm wearing today. But remember, a self-portrait is a picture of yourself. So you might need to think about what characteristics make you look like you. Now, after I have the ears on my paper and I've got this upside down rainbow line, I'm going to ground my facial features, like the eyes, nose, mouth, things like that, by starting in the very middle. So the nose mostly comes from the top of the ears down to the bottom of the ears. And of course, everyone's face looks a little bit different. That's what makes us amazing. But you're going to kind of just generally get these shapes in here. So I'm gonna do a little bit, I always like to just draw a little bit of the side of the face and then curl down like a little J at the bottom and then make the two parts of my nostrils that come out the side right here. Now your nose bridge actually isn't technically a line like an eye line would be where the eye meets the skin. The nose is just skin that covers your entire face. So it's a little bit different. This is just helping us mark where it would be. Then I'm gonna draw the eyebrow line. So I'm gonna come up this way with a big arch and I'll fill that in a little bit too. And then I'm gonna draw my eyes. And eyes are typically some sort of football shape either bigger or smaller, depending on what your eyes look like. And I like to fill them in with two dots so I know how big to make them. So I'm gonna come up like a football line or a rainbow line on the top and then come down and same thing over here. And remember when you draw it does not have to be perfect. As artists, we are just practicing being the very best we can be and filling in my space. Then I'm gonna add some details to my eyes, like making the iris. And the iris is the colored part of your eye. So this is gonna be a really big part of my eye. I just make two wide lines and then a pupil on the inside, which is that dark black part. So I make it the same on the other side and then fill it in. Might look a little bit freaky for a second as I start to add my details, but when I color it, it will become a little bit more like an eye. Then I always like to do the eyelid line because my eye kind of when I have my eyelids open, it will 
fold back into that football shape and everybody has eyelashes okay unless somehow maybe your eyelashes are really really small or something but most of us have eyelashes that you can add to your project too now we do not need to draw the mouth today because we're gonna have our mouth be covered by a mask my mask comes down underneath the eyes kind of gives me a little bit of a bump on the nose and then comes up to connect to my ear so I'm gonna do kind of a light line here down up over that curve of the nose and then up again and then the rest of this is going to be that kind of mask design so I don't technically even need the bottom of my nose in here because your nose is most likely going to be inside your mask so I'm going to give that a quick erase now this part right here is where I'm going to make my decorations but really quick I want to finish the rest of my self portrait so I'm going to make I'm going to make my hair in a bun today because that's usually how I wear my hair but you can make your hair obviously look like you since we're making a self portrait so I'm going to make the hairline which usually starts at the top of the ears or over here it's not all just hair on the top of your head but it continues around the outside so I'm gonna make kind of my hairline here something like that kind of wiggly since I have curly hair and then I usually do the edge of my hair which would be as big as my head is and then oh I'm gonna run out of space here but I'm gonna do a big curly bun that goes off the edge of the page like that cool and I'm gonna fill that in too so this is sort of my general shape of how my hair is going to be then I'm going to just make it so that I'm not a floating head on my paper. So I need to do the neck and shoulders. And the neck is going to be a little bit smaller here coming in the side, but basically just slightly in from where my ear is. I'm going to come in with some light lines down here and I'll just be wearing the t-shirt like I had today. So that's another kind of more shallow rainbow line like this. And then my shoulders are quite wide. They always come out wider than your head. So I'm gonna go off the edge of my page and off the edge of my page. Now, the final part for your drawing step is to add your decorations to your mask. And because I told you at the beginning that sometimes it makes me sad to not be able to smile at people when I have my mask on, I'm going to write on my mask, smile with your eyes. And that's a little reminder to tell people, if you look at my eyes, you can probably tell I'm smiling even though you can't see my mouth. So I'm gonna decorate that by writing smile with my eyes and then I will trace and erase with Sharpie so you can see all of my details from far away. friends I have traced and erased my portrait and I feel really good about the composition now it is simply just time to color and remember as the artist you can use any coloring tools that you have I'm gonna stick to crayons because I have a lot of colors to choose from but you could work with paint or some other materials if you'd like to experiment so now it's time to color <music> friends I love how I've colored my self portrait but I think I need to add just a little bit more to the background so I'm going to paint this but again as we always say you are the artist so you can decide if you want to be done or do some other drawing details I'm quickly going to paint and then I will consider my self portrait all finished <music> friends whether you smile with your eyes or smile with your actual mouth it's always important to practice spreading positivity and love to people around you so I'm gonna hang this portrait so I can always remember that even if I'm wearing a mask it doesn't mean that I'm grumpy or it doesn't mean that other people are upset it just means we're trying to do our best to protect each other and make sure everyone is safe so if you want to if you have a mask you can wear it for a meditation at the end just to make sure you always remember you can breathe and be calm and mindful even if you're wearing a mask and it feels a little bit silly. But for today, I'm just going to do two deep breaths, really focusing on making sure that I am using my diaphragm coming out and really filling it with air and then getting as much air squeezed out as possible at the very end. So two deep breaths, make sure you are really focusing on how much air you let out and bring in. So I'm gonna put one hand on my chest and one hand on my belly. Together, here we go. Two. 
for me, being mindful and using those breath is always a great way to kind of refocus myself for the rest of the day. If I'm feeling like I'm getting a little overwhelmed or I feel like there's a lot going on, that mindful breathing can really get yourself a little bit more centered. So remember my friends, you are amazing, you are strong, you are resilient, and I love you. We will see you next time.